Welcome back to the channel my brothers, my name's Andy Art and this is the Brotherhood of Men and I say welcome back but this might be your first time and if so, where have you been? Come on, we've been waiting on you. Today I want to talk about the feminised man, how it is impacting society and how I feel sorry for them. So let's get into the video. So yeah, as I said in the intro, the feminised man. What do I mean by that? I mean a man who hasn't embraced his, embraced his masculinity. Who doesn't really know what it is to be a masculine man. And he's going down a very dark and dangerous path for a man. These are men who were brought up by women. Exclusively. They never had a strong male role model in their lives. So therefore, were never exposed daily to what it was to be a masculine man. All the input they had was from women. And because of that, they started to become more and more feminine in their attitude. Not necessarily effeminate, not necessarily like a woman, but started to move through the world as a completely different entity to a masculine man. You will find these kind of guys have got a lot of girl friends. Friends that are girls. But they're in no relationship with a girl. Because the truth of the matter is, is that most women, most girls, they do not find this kind of man attractive. And why would they? Because a straight woman finds a masculine man attractive, polar opposites to her. She finds that her magnetic draw, what she wants in a man. It's usually supplied by a masculine man. But because this feminised man is surrounding himself with women, he thinks that he has a chance. And the truth of the matter is, he's really just in all of those girls' friend zone. He's not getting with them, and because of that he becomes frustrated and he acts out in the most abhorrent ways. This is the kind of man who will end up in prison because he forced himself upon a woman. Because he wasn't getting the outcome he wanted, because he didn't know what it was to be a masculine man. He started to use his male strength to force himself. And then therefore ends up in prison because of that. These are the very men that the gynocentric society that we tend to live in nowadays call toxic masculinity. What they're mistaking is maleness and masculinity. Not all men are masculine. Not all men are have that moral code of masculinity where you are strong in both body and in mind. You know yourself and are not apologising for who you are. These men are walking through the world trying to be as much like a woman because they think that's how they will get to be with a woman. And sometimes it works and all that does is confuse and muddy the waters even more. Just like men are not attracted to masculine women, those who act like a man but have none of the attributes of maleness, none of the attributes of a man to back up that masculinity, they are unappealing to most men. The ones that they become appealing to are the weak, feminised men. The ones who, because they're not masculine themselves, are attracted to masculine women. And that usually is a recipe for disaster because those women do not respect those men. Those women, women do not hold those men up in high regard. In fact, they're more likely to cheat on that kind of man with a masculine man that comes along. Because anybody who works against his own human nature of who he or she really is, will find they've built themselves up for failure. So the feminine man who ends up in a relationship with a woman who is basically wearing the trousers in that relationship feels less than a man. He becomes frustrated. She controls him. She doesn't really love him. Maybe she did at the beginning or has those type of feelings towards him. But soon she loses respect for him. So anything long term is built on a fallacy. It falls apart very quickly. 
She uses that guy for what she wants until something better comes along. But a masculine man who gets with a feminine woman, she can bask in her femininity. She can hand over the reins of that relationship to a man who she trusts, who she says, he's not going to steer me wrong. I can absolutely be what I was, what nature has made me, and that is feminine. And a man can say, I'm leading this, I'm steering this ship, you are there with me as my partner, although partnership is the wrong word, but you're there as my woman. You're somebody I can cherish. You're somebody I can protect. You're somebody I'm happy to provide for because you're everything I'm looking for. And she can look at her masculine man and say, that's somebody who's going to go through hell and high water to protect me and any children we have. That's somebody I can turn to for guidance. That's somebody I can be proud to be with. That's somebody who I know is never going to let me down. And I better make bloody sure I don't let him down. But these feminized men have never had that in their life. They've never had it as a role model. They've never had it to look up to, to say, that's how I want to be. And they end up becoming the very worst kind of men. One, who don't really have a moral code. Two, who have no structure in their life are not strong in body and very, very rarely strong in mind. They are the ones who are constantly around women because other men reject them because they see them as a feminine man and say, I don't want you in my friend group. I want to be strong and you're not strong. I want to be proud of my friends and you don't make me proud. You're hanging around with women and you act like a woman. You use all of the tools a woman does for control, which is rumour, which is innuendo, which is um, destruction of reputation. All of those things men don't tend to do, not, not masculine men. Masculine men will sort things out. We, we know our pecking order with our group of friends because we sort that out pretty damn quick. We know who we are. We know we can rely on our friends. You can't rely on a feminized man because he's a snake. He's not moving around the world like a man. He's moving like a woman, but he's straight. He's trying to get with women by being like women. And women don't find that attractive, so they reject him. And he then acts out in the worst kind of way, giving all men a bad reputation because of how he acted. So we end up with these uh, key words like misogyny. Well, misogyny means woman hating. There are very few men I know who hate women. They might dislike how they behave and the fact that they're not held accountable for their actions or that the society has been geared up to protect women at the expense of men. But that doesn't mean they hate women. That just means they can deal with reality. They know what the world is around them. This is a terrible, terrible thing. Yes, but men are realists. I didn't make the world. I just have to live in it. And I can carve out my piece of the world. I can plant a flag and say, this is mine. Leave me alone. Don't try and take what's mine. But feminine women, sorry, feminine men, they act as though, oh no, the, the world needs to change to accommodate me. I deserve things. No one deserves anything. A man's never turned around, a true man, a masculine man has never said, I deserve something. He says, I've earned it. I've built it. I've created it. I made this for me. He doesn't say, I deserve something. I deserve love. I deserve affection. I deserve a woman. No man says that. That's a feminine man. Somebody who has no idea what it is to be masculine. It's just like when you see these women acting in a masculine way. Well, even that's a little bit of a misnomer. Because they don't know what it is to be masculine. What they mean is they're boisterous, argumentative. They're combative. 
because they think those are ma masculine traits. They're not. They're not. A man will pick his arguments. A masculine man doesn't argue with everybody. He doesn't argue with the world and the universe and say, I deserve something. He says, I built something. And that's what I'll argue for. That's what I'll fight for. That's what I will defend. If he allows a woman into his life and chooses a woman, he says, that's my woman. And I'm very territorial. So if you come sniffing round, be prepared for the consequences of your actions. Because I will step up and you won't like the outcome. That's a masculine man. And a woman, she loves that. This guy, he can defend me. You see, data and statistic proves a lot of this out. So for a start, let's look at Instagram. I know, I know what you're thinking. It's not the best example, but it has a lot of data from all of the posts that billions upon billions of posts that have been put up by men and women and couples and families and all of them. People use Instagram for many, many different things. But just looking at the data on these uh, Instagram posts, if a woman posts a picture of herself looking just normal or even in a bikini or, you know, one of those like, you know, I want to look the best and I post this picture of myself, she will get millions upon millions of hits. That creates an endorphin rush in a woman's mind. Look at all the attention I'm getting. If she posts a picture of her with her fella, she gets less hits because pe men generally, who are liking her pictures of her solo, are thinking to themselves, yeah, I like that because I want that. But when they see that they're with a man, they know there is a barrier in their way of getting with that woman. She, th He'd have to deal with her man as well. So less likes happen because he's not liking the fact that she's already taken. That's fair enough. That's a masculine man. He can see that this flag has already been planted, that she has been chosen, that she is in a relationship. And he would be foolish to try and encroach upon that relationship because he'd have to deal with the man. And he knows what that means. So she gets less likes. So she learns the more likes because I'm going to get the endorphin rush from all of those likes, I'm going to get the attention that I re require, she soon learns that I need to take photos of me solo. I need to lie to the general public and give the impression that I'm on my own, when usually they're not. There is a man in their life. So I have to lie to get the endorphin rush that I need. But the polar opposite is true of men. If a man shows a picture of himself, he's been down the gym, he's proud of his body, he's worked hard at it, he's made himself chiselled. So he rips his shirt off, or he wears a very tight type of uh, t-shirt, you know, the Under Armour type thing. Makes a video, a, a picture of himself looking the best he can, he's clenched up, he's showing off all his muscles, he's grinning at the, you know, he's saying, I, I feel bloody good about himself. And he gets a certain amount of likes. But if he shows a picture of him with his woman and they're all cuddled up and she's gazing up at him going, God, oh, I'm in love with you, I think you're fantastic. He gets more likes than the solo picture, completely opposite to how it is with women. Because women like a man who is attractive to other women. And the best way to show that is, I already have a woman. And so many women want that. They want what that woman he's in the picture has with that man. He's with that man. He's attractive to other women. Therefore, he's attractive to me. I want that. Like, 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 like. But a man doesn't get the endorphin rush like a woman does from the likes. He's just going, oh, a lot of people like that picture. Oh, I'll put more up. <laughs> but he doesn't really kind of understand that the picture he has with those women is the fact that he's with a woman and other women find that attractive. They find a man already in a relationship attractive prospect because he's proven that he can be with a woman. Therefore, he can be with me. 
Whereas a man doesn't find a woman with a man attractive because he'd have to deal with the man to get to the woman. He's the barrier in the way. But if she's on her own, a picture on her own, hey, she's up for grabs. I can go for that. See, the data's all there if you look for it. Another one that was done many years ago, this is about 20 years ago, was a billboard picture. And it was a social experiment. And they put a billboard up of a man without his shirt on. Good looking guy. He was a male model. Um, you know, so he had the ripped look. He was a good looking guy, groomed, looked attractive. And women were asked to rate him. What was he attractive? Do you think that you'd like to get with this guy? Those were the sort of questions. And, you know, quite a few women were saying, oh, yeah, he's good looking. Oh, I like how his body looks and all the rest of it. You see, this is another thing as well. They constantly complain about the male gaze, but they never, ever address the situation of the female gaze. But then they took another picture and put it up on this billboard. And this was the same guy, but he was holding a newborn or very young baby in his arm, looking down, smiling at it. The amount of women who chose that guy that picture of that guy because it's the same thing as a man who's got a woman on his arm i'm attracted to somebody who is other women are finding attractive the fact that he had a baby in his arms women thought that was super attractive because it showed that he was nurturing he was protecting he could protect that baby and all he was doing in the photo, he was still topless and the naked baby was in his arm. He was just smiling down at the baby. But what they saw was, this is a man I could, pro pro I could uh, have children with and he would be able to protect. He would love that child. He would protect that child and in doing so, be protecting me. And that was super attractive to a woman because women do want somebody they can rely on. Somebody who's going to be a provider, somebody who's going to be a protector, somebody who's going to be a teacher, even if that teaching is to the child. And that's why they found that photo far more, well, billboard, far more attractive than just the guy looking good, looking fit. And that's why on Instagram, women find the pictures of men with a woman more attractive than they find a picture of a man on his own. But it's the complete opposite for men, because they see a woman on their own, she's up for grabs. If they see a woman in a couple, as with a man, oh no, I'd have to deal with the man to get to the woman. And she'd probably still reject me because she's with a man. Complete opposite. If a man tends to cheat on a woman, and that woman who is the side chick rings up his wife or girlfriend and says, I've been with your man. Do you know why she does that? What she's saying is, I want you to break up with him so I can be with him all the time. She does it to destroy your relationship so she can get the man. Because you were in a relationship, she knows that man can work in a relationship. Even if he's cheating on her, she still wants that guy because you've got him. So she will go out of her way to try and destroy your relationship so she can take your place. Any woman who ever gets that phone call should say, oh, thanks very much. You've given me a night off. You, whilst you were jumping his bones, I didn't have to. I could get some washing done. I could get a meal sorted out. I could go shopping. Thanks for that. Hey, can you fix out for next Saturday? Because I want to have a girls uh, go out with the girls to do shopping. That woman would never ring back again because what she'd realise then is you're going to put up with him cheating because he comes home to you. She wants to destroy your relationship so that she can have your man. So she gave out all the goodies to attract him. All of this data and statistics out there, it's human nature to have what others have, to want what others have. Men don't tend to look at it like that, like, I want your woman. They can be attracted to your woman, and I would hope so too, because nobody wants to be thought that I'm with a woman that no man finds attractive. God, what kind of swamp donkey is she? <laughs> you, know, you want to be with a woman who you know other men find attractive, because that's status for a man. But women want to be with your man 
because he's already a proven quantity. He's shown that he can be in a relationship with a woman. Other women find him attractive, therefore I'm going to find him attractive. Otherwise, why would I be liking his picture? He's not a relative. This is something that women find hard to understand. But the truth of the matter is, is because these feminised men are not getting likes, are not getting attractive, are not attracting other women, they're not getting or being attracted by other women. Nobody's with you, why would I take the risk of being with you? What on earth are you bringing to the table that I find attractive? I'm, I'm attracted to that guy because clearly that guy is attractive to women. You're not moving like a man. You're not acting like a man. And I'm a woman. So why would I be attracted to this feminine thing? This thing that walks through the world acting like a woman but calls himself a man. You see, everything's there when you look for it. The answers are there if you look and ask the questions. Now, you, my brothers, do you agree with me? If so, leave it down in the comment below. Do you disagree with me? Leave it down in the comment below. You knew what I was going to say then. Listen, if you're not already subscribed and you've been enjoying these videos, then hit the subscribe button. I want to grow this channel and I can only do that with you. Also, leave me a comment leave a like. All of these things are free and I'm asking nothing of you but just a nanosecond to hit those buttons because it helps the channel. And I do want to grow the channel. But if you've got something from this video and you know somebody else who would get something from this video, even if it's to shout at the screen, share it. Share it wide. Let's grow this community of brotherhood. Anyway, I'm going for a cup of tea because I think I've earned one. What do you agree? Do you think I've earned a cup of tea? Let me know in the comments down below. I will talk to you soon, my brothers, but you take care of yourself, because if you don't, who will? And I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.